Спасибо большое, господин председатель. Прежде всего, я равно как и другие. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to the government of the Republic of Tatarstan, to the Secretariat of the Strategic Vision Group for hosting and for the great organization of this meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are witnessing uh, we are witnessing the globalization pro uh, pro process uh, slow down and another uh, progress uh, taking hold, uh, and that is uh, increased uh, uh, fragmentation, the forming of political and economic uh, uh, conditions for promoting uh, the interests of different countries. Uh, and these changes uh, are not always uh, carried out based uh, on um, uh, mutual interest, uh, on respect to mutual interest. It is obvious that the uh, version of globalization offered several decades ago has run its course. Even though some of its uh, trends, some of its uh, substantive trends, uh, we continue seeing in various forms in different regions of the world. Within the context uh, of uh, uh, putting an end to this uh, unimplemented, unrealized version and uh, the emergence of new power centers and new powerhouses, you can't just transfer uh, might and influence from one region of the world into another world. Uh, multipolarity should be seen as the existence of new senses, uh, same as uh, the rethinking of the concept of security. Uh, it is mighty possible that new rules of conduct among various countries and among various individuals might uh, emerge. A new, new stereotypes of culture may also take hold. Uh, uh, you can see this kind of innovation in the various aspects of the so-called uh, greater regionalization. These uh, developments are very important at this stage uh, when uh, contradictions uh, are becoming increasingly tense um, at the same time as it always was in, in the history of mankind uh, together with the inertia we see new trends uh, that uh, humanity yet has to identify and uh, their analysis cannot be summed up in a in a, in a merely negative or positive uh, is, uh, uh, evaluation Increasing xenophobia and increasing trends uh, for uh, disintegration uh, creates uh, new spaces for conflicts and new new spaces, new areas for alienation that yet have to be studied and interpreted by uh, experts and by scholars. Uh, so far, uh, experts uh, and commentators uh, cannot always give uh, a satisfying response, a satisfying explanation to these uh, uh, changes. It is evident that uh, uh, concepts and the values that used to be uh, sacrificed, uh, to, 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 to be made sacred and followed uh, uh, without thinking, are now being critically re revisited. Uh, this also relates to the issue of security, and this uh, this applies to the Central Asian region. Our countries emerged uh, uh, in a period of global change uh, when new concepts for global development were emerging, were coming up to replace the uh, old ones. And we must uh, acknowledge that the emergence of Central Asian uh, states was the result of, those cha of that change, of those developments. The most important uh, task for countries now is uh, creating national communities in a situation when the uh, main targets and aims of global development keep shifting and changes. And some of those uh, new trends and values uh, uh, come up and erupt suddenly, which often brings uh, Central Asian countries to steps and uh, uh, opinions which are not always uh, uh, adequate or well-based. Uh, the uh, issue uh, number one of national agendas, of national policy for countries of our region is uh, finding dialogue with uh, your closest neighbors. Uh, 
even though many issues of uh, national security are strongly correlated with issues of international security which is shared for the entire region. We are looking at a greater danger of uh, an even more widespread uh, spread of terrorism, uh, drug trafficking and other manifestations of uh, cross-border crime. Um, even though all manifestations of uh, cross-border crime uh, resemble each other and they are mutually linked, they are inter, uh, intertwined, uh, uh, there is no doubt about that. But um, uh, conclusions by international experts and organizations, uh, they don't always uh, uh, see eye to eye. And the biggest question here is what to do about it. Uh, and here the opinions of governments, experts and the individuals uh, can uh, digress a lot and we see a lot of uh, selfish policies on the part of uh, states and governments and, and a lot of cynicism. What can Central Asian countries uh, uh, suggest or offered in this kind of situation? Uh, I would like to say a few words not about the influence of Islam on the forming of these interests but about uh, something like a joint, uh, joint project by Islamic uh, countries including Central Asian countries particularly uh, a, pro a project for geopolitical uh, mediation. Uh, but before offering your services as a mediator between, say, the Muslim world and other regions of the planet, we as Central Asia should first realize what kind of potential and what kind of capacities we have ourselves and what we can actually offer uh, that can make us capable of carrying out such a complicated mission. We need to acknowledge that our uh, capabilities today are limited uh, or on the other hand they are so broad that it, this leads uh, the question of how sovereign and how independent those, those governments really are. It is evident that a lot uh, depends uh, on the uh, drafting of the cultural uh, outlines for our future action with the, the future uh, formation of positive of, of a positive attitude of uh, Central Asia among the rest of the world. It is uh, apparent that Central Asian countries in turn uh, are affected by the influence from the world's uh, leading nations and organizations or associations. Uh, uh, their political systems are being shaped by this influence uh, their foreign policies are being shaped and many other things. But uh, it seems to us that the influence of the world's uh, strongest powers is, not, is only fragmentary. For example, Western attempts to democratize Central Asia have not been directed by any comprehensive approach. Uh, and for example, uh, for example, the notion of uh, implementing uh, civic education was almost non-existent or, or gone, even though that is a prerequisite uh, for having a responsible democracy. Even though I do agree with experts that this might be uh, a solution that uh, could be uh, a prerogative for uh, national governments in societies, especially uh, provided that they are not only capable but also willing willing to contribute. Whether uh, Central Asia can use their proximity to Europe, but at the same time uh, the, the fact that they belong to Islam for positioning themselves and getting themselves a, a beneficial place in the world. Uh, however, uh, contradicting or even antagonistic the values are in the West as opposed to in the Muslim world uh, and how far uh, we can uh, supplement the selfish, uh, self-serving uh, policies of uh, the, these countries and, and governments is an open question. Central Asia has always been a place where various civilization um, flows or various civilizations would merge uh, or meet each other and this really was a, a, uh, an economic and cultural corridor between uh, East and West. 
the latter relates most to the nomadic culture, uh, a culture of mobility within the context of political, economic and other needs that reflected uh, the way Eurasia's nomad uh, uh, interpreted uh, and their historic mission, it seems to me, was to transport uh, certain uh, cultural or ideal ideological values from one end of the continent to another without using those values themselves. So they were m merely messengers. Uh, now, while rebuilding its statehood, the Central Asian countries are trying to revive these traditions of uh, uh, mediation uh, or of integration, even though we're looking sometimes at their phantom manifestations, uh, whereas the true meanings uh, have been erased uh, from memory over time. But we still are looking at some interesting ideas uh, that could be considered uh, part of that tradition. And we see that role of Central Asia supported by other uh, by other nations, such as the um, uh, Tajik uh, nuclear free zone, uh, the uh, Uzbekistan's um, uh, free access to to, to water bodies uh, and waterways uh, initiative, and so on. We should continue this uh, on this track. To conclude, I would like to to say that. the uh, issue of uh, creating a conference channel for communication among, uh, in particular, European organizations and Islamic uh, fora would be or could be a brilliant idea. Uh, and we believe that uh, the number of uh, countries uh, could serve as such a, a channel uh, and primarily countries that are both uh, member states of the IACO and the OSCE. And I'm sure that this strategic group can also play an important role because this group is a brilliant example of this kind of cooperation, in my opinion. Thank you.